Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me Antonio back with another video today for the family. Hopefully everybody is out there staying dry, man. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I saw the rain and the lightning and I'm like, as soon as it stopped raining, I'm going outside for a walk. It's just after the 12 in the afternoon, so I'm assuming rush hour. It's about to get ready to, you know, get ready to pop off. People are probably gonna be trying to run out of their jobs, and go to Publix or something like that, go grab lunch from Jimmy John's. But um, didn't really get on today to really talk about all that type of stuff. What I really wanted to talk about today uh, is people, how engrossed um, in themselves or how engrossed in others they may be in a, a negative way. Sometimes we can uh, unintentionally cause pain or unintentionally cause harm. Um, and an example that I'm going to use that I didn't even think of until now that just shows you how spirit, um, you know, brings into bring things into perspective for you. The movie Cruella, um, whatever that movie was, what was it? Cruella, I think. Yeah, a whole new spin on Cruella Deville. But yeah, and the whole twist was her mom. And I said this at the beginning of the movie. I'm like, is that her grandmother? Not really paying attention. That's the freaking mom spoilers my bad <laughs> but yeah so that's the crazy part and i'm like huh how interesting it is sometimes when we um when we love people so much or we can hate people so much word that i don't like using that we can do unspeakable things you know i spoke about hitler before in the past he shows you the unspeakable things that one human can do. Um, we don't want to take that route. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Humans can be used for something way better, way more than just whatever he was trying to use people for. Um, but yeah, so pain basically. Why do we cause pain? So the reason why we cause pain is because we have um, a limited perspective on certain things, you know, our identities. We take them too serious sometimes, you know. A man can take his appearance too serious sometimes or his finances too serious sometimes. A woman can take her looks, can take her age too serious sometimes. This is our identity. These are the things that we um, have grown up with around us our entire lives, you know, our ideals, our friends, our families, our associates, our co-workers, you know, our dreams, the amalgamation of memories that make us, make us who we are, our identity. We hold on to our identity so much. And you will say, what, well, isn't that a good thing? Shouldn't you, you know, I teach loving yourself and trusting yourself and knowing yourself, but it can be toxic. Some people can take it, uh, to a, to a toxic extreme, a woman that loves herself so much, putting on all these fancy hair weaves and perming her hair, doesn't realize she's burning out her friggin' brain and the, you know, different things like that. Or even a dude who's like um, mismanaging his finances or mismanaging his family or a man shouldn't really say things like, I don't know because it's a man it is a man's prerogative to know because we have to do things. So, you know, running up more along the lines of why I don't like when terror readers or, you know, people in positions of power, so-called presidents and, and CEOs of countries and, you know, all these um, corporations. And they say, I don't know. That's a pet peeve. Number 779. Um, but that's all it is, you know, and that's one thing that um, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, I said would trigger me in 2021. But, you know, certain things triggered me 10 years ago that don't necessarily trigger me now. You know, you have to master your emotions in a certain way. When you master your emotions, you can master yourself. Um, but yeah, the water, yo, wasn't they saying it was a drought? 
especially in florida like a couple weeks ago like they got all these reports talking about there's droughts around the country that's why you got to get out and experience life it's literally flooded here right <laughs> but yeah again why do we cause pain you know i'll use a couple examples you know you grow up in a grew up in a black family a bunch of christian folks um a bunch of people who are used to sunday dinner and things like that you know um You know, you grow up in a certain city, go to a certain school, or you go to a certain state. Maybe you start even getting bold enough to start to root for certain sports teams or liking certain animals or having certain biases towards certain foods. Oh, I don't like sushi. That's what they call it. That's raw fish. <laughs> um more of an identity crisis and things like that you know you would say you don't eat raw fish but you eat cooked fish which is worse for you <laughs> which is worse <laughs> the more raw form you can get of any uh, organic i mean make sure it's clean make sure it's pure that's why you shouldn't be eating everything you want to eat fresh fish not fish from a toxic creek <laughs> but um yeah, so when you start to identify with these things more and they become more of uh, the person that you are, it lives in you, it lives through you, you project it on to onto people. Um, why do we cause pain? You know, we cause pain because I grew up in this city and you're not from this city, or I go to this school and you're not from this school, or I read this book and have this knowledge and you read that book and you have this knowledge. Why do we cause pain? Because I should be eating my own lunch, but I'm looking at your lunch and I'm envying what you have or I'm disgusted at what you have. Why do we cause pain? Because I'm a Christian and you a Muslim and our identities don't match. The identity that I live my whole life doesn't match with the identity that you're trying to present to me. Why do people cause pain? Why won't people let their lovers go even though their lovers don't love them anymore? Why do we cause pain? It's because we identify with something deep within us, you know, um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, it's attachments, again, when you start to get attached to materialistic, see, we're already attached to materialistic things. Think of the other ideas, the, act, the actual things that make us humans. Being on this planet together. <laughs> spreading ideas and knowledge and family and things like that and coming together. You know, we have our hermit modes and, you know, there are those, those, those people that's meant to take on a lot of burdens in lives and maybe they live, um, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, lonely lives, but nomadic lives, you know, they they get bored easily or you know Women love change of scenery or a man just wants to ex go out and experience a different thing You know go out and conquer like an adventurer <laughs> So Why do we cause pain to each other? What makes us upset upset and angry? Why do we have different opposing opinions and ideas? It's because People, um, they conform to their identity. You know, I spoke about this before in um, your passions versus possessions, you know. Are you living your own life or are you living up to other people's expectations and what people uh, feel that you should be thinking and saying and doing and the, type of, the types of spells that people try to cast onto you. You really have to pay attention to your role in life or you will be governed. That's what government is. Govern yourselves or you will be governed. You know? So that is probably the simplest way that I can explain why we cause pain. We cause pain because we care too much. We fear too much. It's all an emotional thing, you know. It's an experimental thing. It's something that we have to take note of as we experience it. 
you know, why am I really about to get ready to get in this drunken brawl in the middle of a crowded stadium? Just because I like a team that someone else doesn't like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Or why does religion, people use religion to uh, crucify or chastise other people? It's just a difference of thought, difference of thought and a difference of opinion. If the world didn't let so many of their own opinions and their own, you know, personal habits and their own identities cloud our judgment so much, we could come together and have universal thoughts. You know, me and my whole experience of being a super empath and a, and a psychic and being able to walk in other people's shoes and absorb information and to disseminate it towards the people that actually need it the most. It's a very rare gift. I had to go through a lot of things in my lifetime, a lot of sacrifices, blood, sweat, and tears. I've walked those gates of oblivion or whatever you want to call them. And um, it proved to show me the person that I am today. You know, still have a long way to go. You know, I try to keep an open mind. But why? Why do we cause pain? You know, again, the water spirit being being near water, <laughs> freaking explaining pain, explaining feelings, explaining water. And again, you know, it's not something that we have to put so much stock into. You know, those people that want to spread pain, there's going to be also people out there that's going to want to spread love. But why do we cause pain? Because people identify with pain. <laughs> They identify with what their teachers say or they identify with what their, their parents say or their, what their country says. Instead of having a freaking um, a freaking national anthem for every country, we need to have a global anthem. <laughs> and that is not my own original idea. We don't need a national anthem. We need a global anthem. We need to unite everyone under one banner world is big enough for everybody and it's expanding we just got to put everybody in the right perspective but that's it for me there goes your lecture be safe <laughs> yeah.